Matt Walsh is the ultimate man. Him and his Daily Wire team stood for what they believe in. And if you know something about this channel, it's that we love to appreciate people who stand up for their beliefs against everybody else, against any other thoughts. They stay true to themselves. We talk a lot about Kanye West. We talk a lot about Joe Rogan. We talk a lot about Jordan Peterson and sometimes even Andrew Tate. Not because we agree with everything they say, but because they promote a more traditional lifestyle, especially for men. And that's why when somebody like Matt Walsh stands up against one of the biggest movements of recent time, it's an incredible feat that we have to acknowledge and something that we have to stand with and say, you know what, job well done. I know his documentary was released last year, but many of us didn't get the chance to see it at the time. I think it was behind a paywall. And after initially supporting the Daily Wire Twitter platform, Twitter themselves said that they would allow this documentary to air. And then a couple of SJW social justice warriors within their ranks came out and said, nope, that is not happening. It will not air by no means. We published the film as promised in its entirety, uncensored, on the Daily Wire Twitter page. And for exactly two minutes, everything went well. In fact, there was so much interest around the film that in just two minutes, uh, 3,500 people shared it in two minutes. But then the speech suppressors moved in, making good on their threat uh, to suppress it. Two minutes after it was posted, Twitter slapped the hateful conduct label on it, uh, disabled retweets, disabled uh, comments, and removed and blocked it from everybody's feed. And so with the month of June approaching which is a pride month in many parts of the world, the Daily Wire 2 stood up to ask the question, What is a woman? Their documentary only stayed up for two minutes before it was blocked. You couldn't share it, you couldn't bookmark, you couldn't like it. And those who'd retweeted it earlier, it wasn't even showing on their feeds. You could only see it on the da Daily Wire page and you had to go to it. There was so much noise around it that it gave the documentary even more exposure. And Elon Musk himself stood up and said, you know what, it's a technical glitch. We will unblock this, which to his credit they did. And not only that, but he shared it onto his wall. And it was gaining so much traction already, such that in under 24 hours, this documentary had gone past a hundred million views which is insane but when you actually think about it it's more than merit matt walsh and the daily wire team went from having this phrase what is a woman blacklisted on twitter to it basically going over 130 million views in under 48 hours it's so funny that such a simple question 10 to 15 years ago wouldn't even be something we'd be talking about but we're now at a point where this is something that has to be talked about and it's so funny to me watching the documentary and seeing people who are professionals contradict themselves concerning whether or not what they believe in is actually tangible and true honestly i just appreciate matt for exposing all these people and and how their beliefs don't hold any sort of water and, and how their beliefs are basically just trashed, put it simply. Maybe he wasn't finding the right sort of people who would defend this ideology and this thinking, but from those he found, those who administer things that should never be administered to children, to children, hormone blockers and all these things, it's incredible to see their lack of ability to stand up for what they think is the truth because they realize that they're actually committing atrocities and even their moral compasses, though seared far from what the truth is, more or less came back and flashed before their eyes as Matt was asking some of these questions to them and that's why so many got so defensive. The effort that was put in by the entire Daily Wire team to even go as far as Kenya and speak to the Maasai people over what a woman is and their inability to understand some of these questions because they made no sense in any sort of way to them is something that I couldn't help but appreciate because in one country this is such a big deal in another country, this is not even a topic of discussion. I genuinely appreciate men like Matt Walsh who stand up for things like this and who 
take the time to properly research and try to explain it and speak with an open mind to many, many people and ask genuine questions that couldn't be answered in this documentary. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but I really hope you have. If you haven't, you could just search on Twitter for it. You could literally search Matt Walsh's name and it, you'll find your way to it. But if you have watched it, what do you think about it? Please do comment in the comment section down below and peace.